much. All right. Very much. Is there any more Wisconsin image in, in the entire world than standing in front of the Cheese Castle with snow coming down, surrounded by the wonderful men and women of this great state? Uh, this is America, and this is Wisconsin. Good sharp. No, no. Cold nugget. That's the fresh jalapeno cheese there. Got a little zip. It's not too much, but that is good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, they're not brave. What's more important here, momentum or delicacy? Look, to be honest, both. I mean, Wisconsin is is going to be pivotal. Uh, it'll be pivotal for the national debate. The entire country is looking at Wisconsin. Uh, but this is also a delegate fight. If we have a good night tomorrow, that'll be four states in a row where Donald Trump has gotten whooped. Four, three, two, five. And on CNN projects, Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz will win the Republican presidential primary in Wisconsin tonight. Ted Cruz, a huge win for him in Wisconsin. Setting the stage, potentially increasing the prospect, potentially for an open or contested convention. I'm Alice Stewart, the communications director for Ted Cruz and national spokesman. going to be able to steal the nomination. Th th thank you, sir. You know what? The people are going to decide, and we're not going to well, abandon what, the well, conservative principles that, are, that, that, people that this country... can't decide to put you in because you've already been mathematically eliminated. Well, are you going to have the same view when Donald Trump is mathematically eliminated? <laughs> because he's not going to get to 1237, so are you going to call on him to drop out? Take care. Wisconsin was great for a lot of reasons, but it just came to a point based on the numbers that we had in Indiana and other states that clearly Donald was getting to the magic number of delegates necessary to secure the nomination. And a lot of campaigns we learned, uh, you don't start a presidential campaign uh, lightly and you certainly don't end one lightly. And both decisions are extremely, extremely difficult to make. I have a message. I'm running to be your president. I think no one, no one had anticipated uh, the size of the Republican field. Mom, can you ask him to sit down, please? But with this number of candidates, it happens every cycle. It is a whack-a-mole game. The people of Iowa and New Hampshire and South Carolina have spoken, and I really respect their decision. So tonight, I am suspending my campaign. Yeah, yeah. I love everybody that I defeat. Week after week, God, 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 Walker is God. You know, Walker was going to be great, right? Jeb Bush was going to be great. Everybody was going to be great. And yeah, Donald Trump jumped in, and I think a lot of people underestimated his ability to maintain being the leader of the pack for the entire time. Everyone is learning a new lesson that every rule of campaigning has gone out the window in terms of stay on message, stay focused, be positive. Those days are in the rearview mirror. It's a matter of wake up, send out a tweet, and let it pick up fire. When someone tweets something, you have a very, very limited amount of time that you need to correct it or respond to it, or it's going to take on a life of its own, and you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. Sir? 
Gentlemen, thank you very much. God bless you, and you have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you very much. Praying for you, Senator. Thank you, sir. God bless you. We would start off every day. Here's what we would want to push. Here's what we're talking about. And Ted did a great job staying on message while at the same time adapting if a Trump tweet came out of left field. I'm running to be everyone's president. Those who vote for me, even those we who don't, don't want you. Well, take your own words. Now I'm curious, sir. Time to drop out. When sir. Donald doesn't get to 12:37, you're going to call Donald's him to drop out. Donald's definitely going to get to 12:37. He's, no, he's, no, he's, he's going to get more than 12:37. Let me ask you something, sir. What What do you like about Donald? Everything. Do you, give me one. Give me one. Everything. 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 And, sir, with all respect, Donald Trump is deceiving. He is playing you for a chump. And I believe the people of Indiana have a common sense, good judgment that Vote we want Trump. real solutions. Hey, Thank you, sir. Vote Trump. Thank you, sir. Vote Trump. have now closed in Indiana, where Donald Trump will beat Texas Senator Ted Cruz. The Stop Trump wing of the Republican Party appears to be rapidly running out of options. Ted and some of the team sat and made the decision, and it was one that came with a lot of thought and prayer on now's the time to put an end to the campaign. And uh, it, it was a tough call, because a lot of folks uh, wanted him to stay in. but. God obviously had a different plan than what all of us had. From the beginning, I've said that I would continue on as long as there was a viable path to victory. Tonight, I'm sorry to say, no! it appears that path has been foreclosed. And so, we are suspending our campaign. But hear me now, I am not suspending our fight for liberty. Thank you to each of you, and God bless you.